I'm Laura Nelson, and I've been volunteering here at the Richmond SPCA about four and a half years now. I chose to become a green team member because I really, really, really wanted to work with the dogs. They, it's just such a wonderful feeling to get them ready for a home, to show them love and affection and just, yeah, getting them ready for a home. That's the most important thing. The green team training is a two day, eight hour a day training session, a class with the trainers. A green team member is it's a volunteer, a lot of training on what to look for in a dog, how to know when they're uncomfortable. I honestly think the green team program is wonderful. We have a great group of trainers and they are always available to us. We go to them. If we notice a dog um, is a little more reactive than usual or whatever, when we have them out, we write up what we call behavior sheets and trainers look over it and kind of helps them determine, well, what's changed with the dog? Is it what's changed in the environment or whatever that's making them react a little differently than they didn't before? <laughs> I always like to work with the dogs that are a little harder to handle. I don't know, I just enjoy it, you know, and they don't, they tend to not have as many volunteer friends as the easier ones. Most of these dogs, they have, they need a little more work to get them ready for the home. They might have stranger issues. Um, they might not be so great around other dogs. Some of these dogs can be pretty destructive in the home. They have separation anxiety. A lot of these dogs, I don't know where they came from, but a lot of them really don't know how to be a dog. Sometimes they need a little work and they just need to be shown some love. And, you know, I've seen some dogs make amazing turnarounds. They come in, they're scared to death, but, you know, they have stranger issues. It benefits me because it's such a heartwarming feeling. I, I, I leave here feeling like I have done really good. The dogs get so excited when they see us. So they know when they see us, they're going out. They're, they get to go outside and play for a little while. It's just such a heartwarming feeling. It really is. And I get exercise. <laughs> it benefits the dog like I said, because it gets them, it gets them ready for their home. Some dogs, they are scared to death here. It's loud <laughs> when you walk through those kennels and those dogs are barking. You know, it's, it's so stressful for them. So when they get to spend one-on-one -on -one time with the green team member, it's very enriching for them. Even 10 minutes, you know, away from the, their kennel is, is very beneficial to them. When I take a dog out on a field trip, um, I usually take them um, to a park that I'm familiar with. And I take what we call a long line. It's not just your regular leash. It's like a 15 foot long leash. And it gives them the sense of freedom. And again, you know, they can do their sniffari and they can, I can stay on the path, but they can go off the path and through the trees and brush and, sniff around and play and just get just be a dog for a little while pocket's been with us well over a year now and she's a very friendly dog Pocket first came to us, she was a dog who had really poor kennel presence. And that just means that the way she presented in her kennel to people walking by was kind of alarming. Um, it can be a combination of barrier frustration, um, which just means kind of like you're a human, you have attention, I want it, and I'm separated from you, and so that's causing me a lot of stress. Um, you also kind of just have overstimulation, there's too much stimuli, and they just don't know how to process it. Um, but all of that kind of combined to her kennel presence was a lot of leaping and spinning and um, just sheer, she would surely 
wear herself out with all of that. Um, she's learned so much now and she has other choices. She gets a lot of enrichment. Um, she gets this kind of field trip. She really is a different dog. Come in here to the Richmond SPCA and being a running butt buddy and green team volunteer, it is very fulfilling. It is, you've had a bad day at work. You come and you see these dogs and they're so happy to see you and you know, you just take them out for a relaxing walk or run. Sometimes I wonder who it's benefiting more, me or them. I definitely love being here and the feeling of helping these dogs and showing them love and compassion. It's, it's very fulfilling. I do get favorite dogs. And when they go home, I cry. I feel sorry for me, but I'm so happy for them. And then a lot of times the adopters will give the trainers or the SPCA staff updates. And I always call it the fairy tale ending. Seeing these dogs laying on a couch or hanging out with another dog, it's it is, oh my God, like I said, I cry. I can just think of so many dogs right now and I'm getting teary eyed. <laughs> yeah, they come a long way. You know, they start off here, like I said, very nervous or reactive and the trainers work with them and the volunteer staff work with them. And then they go home to these amazing homes and they just so happy. I love it. It's great. It's great.